Everybody, welcome to Ben's Brick Designs. I'm Ben. I'm here by myself this time. Um, Beth is not going to be joining us tonight. She is watching Endgame. She could not wait. She's on a Marvel kick, so she bought it today and is now watching it. <coughs> you may hear her. Yeah, so she had to watch it again because in the theater she um, read a website that was like, if you have to pee during this uh, movie, here's when you do it. And uh, so she did, and now she's watching again because she's missing, she's mi missed about three different parts. So <clears throat> welcome to Thursday night. Um, I'm just gonna do kind of a live build tonight, kind of take it easy. Uh, last week we worked on uh, Beth building a, um, a friend set and um, uh, I started doing the, uh, <clears throat> what is this called? The Lego Movie 2 uh, Sweet Mayhem's Sistar Starship. And I'll show you what ended up with that here in a second. And uh, let me make sure that I'm rolling here <clears throat> on, on the books of face, which I actually don't see myself here yet. So, oh, there we are. Okay, I gotta make sure that I get that up so I can see the, the chats. And I gotta mute that, come on. I, re I really can't wait until um, Restream's got their chat nonsense figured out with, um, with Facebook. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll get everybody in here. It'll be no problem. I think the, the, the chat bot will cover most of it. So where we left off last time, uh, this is what was built last time. This is the Sistar Starship. Um, what's up, Josh? Thanks for coming by. Um, it's a very cool set. I like the look of it. Um, it is not worth $70 though. I, it's 500 pieces. Um, what's up, Brick X? Uh, the build tonight is going to be the Black Ace from Star Wars Re um, Resistance. Star Wars Resistance. So this is um, one of like five racing ships. Uh, the Aces fly these. And this is the only one we've got so far. So I'm gonna do this. Um, this was part of my A Fall Day uh, haul where I got this, the um, Sistar uh, Sweet Mayhem Starship. And then um, I got a Von Regs TIE Fighter and an AT AP. So we're gonna probably do those the next couple weeks. I mean, I'm in no rush to do anything else. But in case we run out of time, I also have a micro fighter that I'm pretty sure it's gonna be all there. First order dreadnought, the Mandator class dreadnought, dreadnought micro fighter. I think I have all the pieces for it. And I didn't even realize it. Like I was ordering parts, and um, I didn't realize that I had all the uh, the parts already. So, so we'll crack into this here in a second. Um, I might also try to, if we get time, or if I can get it set up in time, while I'm doing the micro fighter build, I'm gonna record it so I can do a time lapse of it later. But if we don't get it to it tonight, I'll still record a time lapse of it and put it up on um, the channel later. So, um, <clears throat> if you're if you're new to the channel, comment, subscribe, like, hit a bell, something like that. Tell your friends. Tweet out the address. Um, again, just real quick, if you don't have this set, it's really cool. It's not seventy dollars worth of cool, um, but it is pretty well designed. It's very solid. Um, it's got a lot of fun bits on it. Um, the sides open up. Right, um, I got it for on sale at the Lego store, and you can see that's where the all the stuff goes in um, for like 55 plus the A fall discount. So that was very cool. <clears throat> Lost you there for a few. Uh, what the? Um, so let me know where you lost me. I don't know if Beth streaming is going to cause some frame rate delay or not, but if it does, I'm really sorry. Um, I don't have, <clears throat> yeah, so this is, it's $69 retail. And the reason being, I think, is because in the back here, um, you can pull out stickers, right? It's got a sticker butt thing, right? And you can pull out a stream of stickers. And I, th I Lego movie stuff is generally pretty cheap, so I don't know why that is. I did not put stickers on this, it only had a couple, um, but I do like the way it looks. Um, the cockpit's actually pretty cool. You can see in there where Sweet Mayhem sits. And of course, Sweet Mayhem herself is a very cool figure. 
<clears throat> right? Got really good molding on and uh, glittery hair. That's very cool. This helmet is really awesome. And you can, you know, she's just holding it right now with a, with a one by one in there, but that's a very cool mold. Um, and the wings on the back. The wings and the shoulder pads are one piece and then you clip on other wings on the back. So that's cool. Um, it also comes with flames for her boots and another gun. So it's a lot of extra pieces. So here are the other two figures that come with it. Emmett and Wild Style. Uh, her with her cool goggles mold on her head. That's pretty rad. And here's a couple little things that are brick built, but they're cute. I like those. It's so cold. So anyway, that's what we built last time. Um, and so let's get started on this. Um, so yeah, this is just um, the Star Wars Black Ace. Let's see if I can fix the camera a little bit. The Black Ace. Um, eventually, I'm sure they're going to have... Um, Oh, good. Okay, thanks, Brick. Brick X. Um, oh, I need a blade of some kind. I don't have one. Oh, well, nobody look because I'm going to try to peel these off. I don't keep boxes anyway, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah. Good job, Allie. Way to be proactive in your feeding. Sometimes I can get these off without ruining the box. Like a soul. <clears throat> oh, also, and I don't have them with me, but I got some stickers for the Capitol today. They're very cool. In fact, I might just go grab them here in a second. So, Christena, up at Creative Brick Builders, was nice enough to print up some vinyl stickers for me for the Capitol. Oh, look at that. No rips, no tears. No grabbing. So I'm very excited about this because it means this much closer to being done. Not a fan of stickers for Lego sets, but I got these today. They're very nice. You can kind of see. These are all the seals. I'm going to switch back to this. It's all the seals for the building on either side and then the big seal for the uh, front porch, south side, and then the flags. There's, um, oh, you know what? I think she did this wrong or I think I gave it to her wrong. I think the other side is also supposed to be a Texas flag. Let me ask her if she can redo it just with the Texas flag. No big deal. But she's already got them kiss cut, so they just kind of come right off. You know, you can peel them. So that's very cool, I'm very excited. I'm gonna try not to touch them because they, uh, they're laser print. I don't wanna smudge them, so I gotta put some fixative on it. Anyway, that's capital talk. <clears throat> Let's go back to building. So, I was very excited when I found out that um, there was going to be another Star Wars show. Bag one. Bag two. Bag three. No muss, no fuss. And of course, there's stickers. Now, I might do these stickers because there's a, you can see it on the camera. There's a certain way that the ship looks. It looks like a stormtrooper helmet when it's rotated like that. And that's these stickers, right? So I think I might have to put these on for this one. Um, I'm not happy about it, but we'll see about it that when we get there. <clears throat> so three bags, shouldn't be a problem. We should get able to get through this. All right, and the beers we're drinking tonight are can we see that and get a link for? Oh yeah, sure. So, Christina runs, this isn't her business, but she runs Creative Brick Builders. These are just the stickers that she printed up off her office printer. She has vinyl sheets and she has a nice like Cricut machine or a, a quick cut machine or something like that. Um, and let me get a, um, let's see if we can do this. What's up, James? Um, I think it's just Creative Brick Builders. Creative Brick Builders. Yeah, creativebrickbuilders.com. She's a, she owns a local place here in uh, Austin, actually in Round Rock. Um, they, do, they do retail, so um, 
you can go to their site and buy stuff too. Um, but it's a resale shop, but it's also an event shop, uh, event space where um, you can rent uh, rooms, you can rent out whole, the whole thing for birthday parties and whatnot. Um, and then they do workshops and they do events like uh, you can go in and pay like $4 and get like a box and get all the Lego you want in that box. Um, they do have a sizable amount of sets for sale, so it's really, it's a great space too. Um, if you're in the Austin area, you should definitely check it out. Um, but she's been very helpful with uh, providing bricks and space for our lug and stuff like that. So she was really great about doing these stickers too. Um, Cause we thought about doing printing, but I think the pieces that I wanted these on were not gonna be able to be printed on. It was just a little, a little much to figure out. Um, so, cause James who's in the uh, Facebook chat uh, had a, an idea of how to do that. But I think we went with stickers uh, vinyl stickers specifically. So, okay. Oh yeah, so this is what we're drinking tonight. I started with this because I needed a little something to go with dinner. The Oktoberfests are out. So we got Shiner Oktoberfest. This is one of my favorite times of year for beers because they come out with a lot of good stuff. And then after that, a real ale Oktoberfest. So we'll see which one is better. I'm always I always like the Shiner Oktoberfest. It's very clean and sweet, but not overly so. It's got a good cream feel to it. Um, it's just kind of a perfect October beer. All right, so the figures that are gonna be in this are Poe and the Black Ace. I don't know his name, it's Guff something. Let me see if it says on the box. Griff, Griff Halloran, yeah. So I needed this set specifically because I've got a microfighter design that we designed on this channel and um, I needed the figure for it. So now that I have the figure for it, I can build it and then I can part it all out and then I can build that. And I think from now on the microfighters I'm gonna build in um, time lapse. I think we'll just do like a speed build, but like big builds like this, we'll just kind of sit around and chat um, Thursday night stuff. And then hopefully Sundays we can get Beth back and get her to build something. We'll go back to Christina's and buy another uh, friend set or just she can pick out a set she wants to do. All right, so three bags. First bag's gonna be Poe and BB-8. It'll be the umpteenth BB-8 figure that we all get from these sets. Um, so, you know, there's BB-8. Oh, ball down. BB-8, typical BB-8, right? I don't think my camera focuses any better than that. I don't think it focuses at all, honestly. I need to get a better camera. So, if you'll notice in the description, there's a donate link to PayPal. Feel free to donate because this is what I bought today to help with the channel is a $5 phone stand, right? And these are the kind that you wear around your neck or you can bend them. So I'm gonna put this up and try to record a speed build. Um, I also got some lights donated, thanks Josh. Um, so we'll see uh, how that works, if I can. I haven't opened them up yet to see what bulbs I need or anything like that, I just, I haven't been home a whole lot and this weekend's not gonna be any easier. But I might take a, take a shot at it, see what is needed and then go to uh, Home Depot and get some bulbs. All right, so we got Poe with his blaster, which is somewhere around here. I love these little blasters. I love the silver ones too. I know people are posting memes about all the, like the old megaphone um, blasters, the old school blasters. I just like these. I think they're great. They're great Star Wars blasters. You can't see him down here, but I'll put them there anyway. Um, all right. <clears throat> so what's everybody up to? It's Thursday almost the weekend. What plans do you got? While you answer that, I will say that last night I was at a, uh, a I forget what the name of the tour was, but it was a, a volunteer thing for the band. We go to Circuit of the Americas and volunteer for, um, in Austin there's a, there's a Formula One track, it's called Circuit of the Americas, and they also have concerts, they have a concert series. So I went last night for 311 
and Dirty Heads and um, um, a, another band called Bikini something and then another band that I don't know the name of. And then my one of my favorite bands right now is the Interrupters and they were the fifth band to play. No, I'm sorry, third band to play. So they weren't the opener or the headliner. 311 was the headliner. Um, and it was weird seeing who goes to a 311 concert. There was actually, I think, more people there for um, Dirty Heads than there were for 311. Um, Dirty Heads did a song for a video game or a cartoon. I forget what it was. Somebody explained it to me and I was like, oh, that's cool. But now I don't remember. So anyway, did that last night. And uh, of course, that's, you know, you work from 4.30 till about uh, 10.30 after doing a eight hours at your day job. Allie, settle down. Just sit. Out. You can you can do anything for four minutes there, Allie. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so eight hour day, nine hour day, and then go to Coda and work and volunteer for basically the band, but it's for the band, man. All for the band. So me and a couple other parents knocked it out. It was very fun. I mean, as much fun as standing around serving pizza and beer. So uh, what's up, James? Oh, you are a 311 fan. Yeah, um, I didn't see them. They actually played for a really long time. There was three other, uh, four other bands, and I was only there really to because it was volunteer work. But then I was there for um, the Interrupters, which I think kind of surprised some people because I think 311 and Dirty Heads and the other bands are a little more reggae, a little more, I don't know what the the right kind of, a pot rock, I don't know what to kind of, anyway, the type of music that, you know, where they open the gates at 420. That's all I'm saying. They literally open the gates at 420, which we thought was hilarious. So the interrupters come on and they're more of a ska, uh, soco, um, pop, or punk pop, ska punk, type of band, very, I mean, rancid, think rancid. And um, so they got up and everybody was kind of like, okay, who are these guys? But then would start playing and you could see the people looking around going, yeah, not bad. These are, you know, good band. So I would highly suggest them if you're into that kind of music. Um, I think 311 put on a good show. We were leaving when they were kind of towards the end of it um, because we were closed. So as we walked by and caught a little bit of the show, it seemed good. It seemed very 311-ish. Um, one of the parents was like, I don't know who these people are at all. And then as we're walking out, she's like, oh, I think I would like them. It's like, how do you not know who 311 is? You're my age. Anyway, so it was okay. Um, I don't mind doing middle of the week shows, but it, you know, the older I get, the more it kind of kicks your ass. Cause then you gotta wake up, you know, five hours later and your back hurts and your knees hurt cause you've been standing all night. Um, but you know, the, you recover and everything's fine. So I think the next one I'm going to do is Slipknot. Um, there's a, like the knot tour or the slip tour or something like that. So I think I'll probably do that one too, because, um, one of the guys who was there last night was kind of filling in for me, not filling in for me, but was there because no one else had volunteered, but then we got a couple other volunteers. So he was there until I was able to kind of sneak away and go watch the show. And then when I got back, he's like, all right, you good? I'm out. So I was like, all right, well, I'll be there for Slipknot for you. But then I realized that he, he is going to uh, be there with like four other volunteers. So I'm like, do, do I really need to sign up for that? I, don't, I think that's going to be overkill to have like five people there. It's almost too many to have four people there, but... I guess if it gets, you know, I'll go and get it set up and get it working with him um, because we will be the experienced ones probably. And then after the show starts, I'll be like, all right, man, go watch your show. Except the problem is Slipknot's going to be the headliner. So if I want to cover for him while he's going to the show, I'll have to wait till the end of the show. So I don't know. We'll see. I haven't signed up yet. Um... First time we saw them. Oh, Incubus. Wow. That's going back, man. That's great. That would have been a heck of a show. Uh, 
I keep drifting away from the camera because I realize I've got the instructions over here. All right, so let's see next. This looks like it's probably gonna be a pretty fast build, so I get this done. I'll switch over to um, the micro fighter. We'll see what happens. You might have to bear with me while I dumb through some technical setup issues. I mean, all I'm gonna do is record it. And then I can, I don't have any kind of video software editing tool, really. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that later. Just, you know, speed it up to a certain amount and then match it with some music, find some, uh, I was able to find some music for the robot drawing stuff, so that's not gonna be a problem, matching it with music. But I was doing it in like Windows Media Player or Windows edit, Movie Editor or something like that. Years and years, probably like 10 years or so ago. Oh, you know what I can do? Hey, Beth, mm -hmm. I realize now Oh goodness, already? I realized now that uh, the capital is done, guess what I can work on? What? I can work on that drawing for your brother. Oh yeah, that's right. So I can do that as a live stream. I can draw while I, while I stream. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, I'm gonna do a, it's a birthday present for their daughter. It, their, how old is Beatrix now? Almost six? She's five, it's, it's. It's for her fifth birthday, right? Well, she, it was. What? Um, but at the time, right. Cause you know, you're getting something for a five-year-old. They don't care really when they get it. Yeah. It's more for them. So I want to make sure that I do it. But at the time I'm like, all my time's tied up in doing this stupid capital building. But now that that's done, I can go back to doing that. And drawing isn't, I mean, drawing is kind of, I, I won't say my first love, but it is definitely something I've done since I was a kid. And I just kind of, you know, you fade in and out of your, your likes and your passions. And so I'm currently faded out of drawing um, just because I felt like I wasn't doing it for the fun of it. I was doing it because I was trying to kind of make a side hustle and it wasn't taken off like I wanted to. So it was getting kind of burnout on it. So maybe I'll do this and it'll be a little bit of a a rekindling. I told there's a guy, and I don't know who's, there's nobody watching right now, but um, there's a guy who uh, used to work for Lego, and I think everybody here probably knows him, um, Kevin Hinkle. Um, he also does a lot of artwork, so I told him that if he ever got his Hangouts figured out, because now that Hangouts have gone away, everyone's using Yardstream or StreamYard or whatever it's called. Um, that we should do a um, doodle hangout because he does a doodle stream, but it's just him and everyone's just kind of in the chat. I was like, man, we should do a doodle stream. We'll draw together, that'd be fun. I would have to do it um, not digitally because I don't have a Wacom tablet anymore or any kind of tablet to draw on. This is fantastic, look at this. Nobody's watching, so I don't even care. I'm just gonna build. But if you're watching this later, that's really cool. They got those, uh, the one by ones with the pipes on the top, right? And then you've got the one by, or the one by twos with the holes in them, the rounded ones. And it's pretty. I don't know what they're gonna do with it yet, but it looks very pretty. And we gotta do two of them. Figures, Kokinos is streaming, same time I'm streaming. <clears throat> Music's pretty good tonight, good mix. I haven't started seeing uh, repeats on Pretzel yet, so that's good. Or hearing repeats, I don't know. If you guys have, let me know, because when Beth's on with me, I kind of don't pay attention to the music, but this is a good mix. Oh, look at that, schmancy. 
It's gonna be side stuff. Now I saw a review about this set saying that it could have been tied together a little better on the wings, like the panels just didn't seem like they really tried very hard. So this may be one that I kind of look at and uh, modify a little bit. Hmm. So I watched a little of Bricks and Beers, or Beers and Bricks today. They were the channel that a uh, lug member slash friend of mine, I, I guess not really a, a friend, but somebody that I met that I kind of like and hope to become friends with, um, told me about. He had a shirt. Hey, Kelly, what's up? Um, and it's called Beers, Beers or Bricks and Beers. And Bricks is written like a Cheers logo. And they get guys on there. I think it's three guys. I don't know if it's three guys all the time, but it's it was three guys, the one I watched. And um, they just sit around and talk about Lego and drink. Drink beer, that's all they do. I, I only watched one episode, so they didn't really build anything. But it looked a lot like what I'm doing. So I was kind of like, oh man, that's a great shirt and a good idea. And I hope they don't come after me and say, that was our idea first. But whatever, I subscribe to them. <clears throat> uh, no news yet on the um, Lego Masters TV show. Okay, this is a little weird to try to get in there, this bit. You can't come up here, kitty. Oh, that's, that's not good. They should have put that in earlier. Um, no real news. Hang on, I gotta chat somebody. Yes, they're in my car, period. I can run them down to you when I'm done streaming. I also have cash for tips, comma, and buckets for the tips. Uh, so what was I saying? Um, Nothing really. See, I appreciate this. I appreciate the printed double cheese wedges. I'm so glad they don't put stickers on these. I just like these pieces. They're great. They should be used for everything. Don't make me put a sticker on one of these things. Just print up one of these guys. Oh, I remember what I was talking about. Um, no news on the um, Lego Masters TV thing. We went in for our second interview and, and I know Will probably doesn't want me to talk about this because he's afraid that we're jinxing it by talking about it. I'm not getting excited about it just yet and Beth doesn't understand why I'm not excited about it, but I'm not excited about it the same way the same reason that Will doesn't want to talk about it. We don't want to jinx it. Like, <clears throat> I think it's going to be super fun to do, but I don't want to get my hopes up. But they did call us back for a second interview, and I think they called us back because they wanted, in the first interview, they wanted us to be like kitschy. Um, they wanted some sound bites. They wanted to be able to like record us saying great things that they could use as like a reel to bring to their editors and say, okay, this is the team that I've curated. Um, what do you think of these guys? And then play a little bit where we say, we're the, the whatever's from wherever. And you know, be all excited about it and we're very marketable. And so I think that's what they were looking for. Um, so when they called us back, they were very much like, okay, so let's get you guys to say this and you know, that kind of thing. So 
we, we kind of, you know, we wore the same shirts and we, you know, said the things that they kind of wanted us to say. And I think it went well. Um, and then we'll know later, you know, we'll figure it out or somebody will contact us. And, um, yeah, Will didn't want to like get really excited about it because he's afraid that something, you know, if you don't think about it, you, you, you don't jinx it. So, but I'm glad he's excited about it. I think it'll, it'll be fun. All right, here's the first of a few stickers that I'm going to put on. And again, I'm not keeping this model forever. So I'll put these on and then I'm going to keep the sheet and see if I can reapply them to the sheet afterwards. Um, and yes, I know I should be using tweezers, but I'm just going to kind of slap these on here. Because I want to see how it looks with that Stormtrooper thing on it. And I guess I don't have to put everything on it, but why not? Plus the bricks that they're going on, you know, these one by two by two and a third slopes. 60 degree slopes or whatever. Oh, that's that's awful. Good thing that's coming off later. Did not put that on well at all. All right, so stickers on. Moving on. This, this. So yeah, so I got this cheap little stand that I showed you earlier and I'm gonna try to record, well that's weird. I'm gonna try to record um, putting together a micro fighter because then I can go back and record all the micro fighters being put together, get some good lighting on it um, and put those up independently just as like short two minute videos or something. Interesting. All right, I can dig it. Back end looks like that, right? I did that for the RQ4. That's kind of, you know, I put something in the little uh, exhaust nozzle or the thrust uh, afterburner nozzle. Um, <clears throat> well, I was just talking about something, now I forgot. Just listening to music, not talking about anything. Girlfriend's watching a Marvel movie, which I think is hilarious. Not that she doesn't not like Marvel movies, I just think it's funny that she said, I don't have anything to contribute when you stream, so she's watching a Marvel movie. That's totally cool. So if we do get picked, Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like an engine block that we're going to do next. If we do get picked, um, the next thing that will happen apparently is that... I think I'm drifting a little bit. No, that's fine. The next thing that will happen is we will go to... Uh, they'll fly us out to LA. Oh, I can't tell which way that's facing. All right. Yeah, that's a really weird angle. I can't tell if that's facing out or what. Um, the fly sets, or actually the um, next thing that'll happen is, oh, that's definitely not the way it goes. Yeah, it's a little bit separated. Um, we will um, get a set and build it, um, but we'll build it somehow different like the, we'll we'll each get a set and they'll say all right now build something different with this so when she explained it to us we were like god that's what we do like all the time anyway you know that's how you get into doing mocks and your own designs and stuff like that is you uh you get a set and then you put it together and you're like yeah i really like that but i think it could be better so let me take it apart or let me try these two different things and then we'll you know we'll make it better and sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. <clears throat> and then you tear it all down and you start over. So we were very excited to hear that. We're like, oh yeah, wheelhouse, man. That's great. And they didn't say, you know, something specific. They just said build something else. So, of course, I hope to get something that's not a spaceship so then I could build a spaceship out of it because that's my M.O. And then uh, my luck, I'll get like a... Uh, I'll get Benny's spaceship and then I'll be like, ah, 
Well, now what do I do? I guess I'm building a house. Or a dragon. They've done this, this move right here that I'm gonna do, this, they've done this a couple times. I feel like it's, this is the new uh, translucent boat bottom move, right? It's just to keep it on the, keep it kind of like off the ground or something. There's gonna be something that goes down that far and they're like, yep, we have to put those spacers in. Not that that means anything, but. So I was watching uh, my subscriptions on YouTube today and I stumbled into a video from Smarter Every Day, not an affiliate or sponsor or anything, but they the video they had was about, there's a guy named Linus, he was with like Linus Tech, I think it's actually his channel and they talk about um, computers and um, he does uh, consulting and he brought out um, a big like one or a hundred terabyte or some giant amount of terabyte hard drive for um, Dust, uh, Destin and uh, to help him with his video editing. Um, kind of as an experiment to say you've got all these hard drives with all these videos on them and you've got like a spreadsheet that categorizes them. You should just be able to like see them all. So he was helping him out with that. And um, so he brought him back on, but they also went to um, the Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and that's where the show is located. And they met up with one of the guys who basically made the computer for the Apollo 11, or the, the Apollo series rockets, and specifically, I guess, the Apollo 11. And um, the description of the memory block or cube or whatever, it's just mind blowing what they had to do back then to get um, any sort of uh, calculations to run through, any sort of computation to run through the system. Um, it was just fantastic. Uh, really? That seems like a waste of a piece. Yeah, that's really weird. All right. I guess they wanted that exactly. So we, I just put one of these. Oh, it's behind Poe's head. One of these little guys in here. So in here. So that's gone forever. But okay. Sometimes I don't get the internal workings of whatever they do at Lego. I get it. They want to do some, you know, part m maintenance, and they want to give you more parts than you need to do something. But who knows? What's up, Josh? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you can hang out and chat. How's life in Boulder? How's life in the, the, the CO? I have noticed that there's a lot of drop-ins with Facebook and then not a lot of staying. I need to figure out how to uh, incorporate more people into this. This is a pretty cool song too. Very uh, old school synth thing going on. Um, yes. This is going by pretty quick, so hopefully. Oh, more stickers. Sticker time. Yeah, I was watching another video and six and eight. What? No. Oh. And some guys who were building were really into the sticker thing and they were like, you gotta do it with tweezers and you gotta, you know, you gotta line it up the first time. And I'm like, it's just stickers, guys. Just put them on or don't put them on. I don't care what you do. So I'm gonna flip over to 
something really quick because I don't know that I'm not getting. No, that's it. Okay. That's cool. This looks like a vape pen. All right, back to the main model. Go away, stickers. I can already tell what's gonna be the extra pieces and what's not. Oh yeah? Well, I think you should fit in there. There you go. Interesting. There we go. Not bad, that's gonna be your cockpit. It's gonna be the top engine. It's gonna be two more engines down here with the wings. Like it. Times four. What was I watching today that was very much like, had this whole, oh. So today is the anniversary of um, the 1986 Transformers the movie, cartoon movie. Um, and I did nothing today at work but listen to the sound, I mean I did other things, but I listened to the soundtrack all day. And I mean the, the actual soundtrack that you could get that had the actual songs on it and then the score which is a whole different hour and a half worth of stuff that they re-released for botcon back in i don't know 06 or something like that uh that has all the vince decola music in it it was glorious it was so much fun so hearing this was like what's playing right now is kind of like where have i been all day where i was listening to something like that oh yes Transformers. So if you're um, watching this later, the, there's a guy who uh, occasionally will show up here. His name's Synthetic Mason. And uh, he does Gen 1 Transformers, but he does them in like this scale. Like no bigger than this, with very few pieces. Um, I think his channel is just Synthetic Mason, but you should give, it a, give him a look because they're really great. And his channel is basically, this is how you put it all together. And here's all the pieces. So it's super fun. And like his bigger stuff is really impressive too. Um, it makes me want to go back and buy a bunch of old Gen 1 Transformers. Good enough for government work. with bag one. All right, so how long did that take us? Probably about half hour. Oh. No, I'm missing some stuff. Missed that. You know, Beth, I lied. I am hungry. We had soup for dinner. I was like, no, I'm not going to want any more of that. And I'm like, nope, I'm hungry. These are your extra pieces for this bag. Got a pip with a pipe out of the top, one by one tile. Got a bushing, actual bushing and pin bushing. So there you go. Put these over here. My other extra pieces from the uh, sweet, uh, whatever her name was, sweet mayhem ship. Where is everybody tonight? Goodness got no viewers no Facebook you guys really just want Beth out here don't you all right I'm gonna flip over and check something real quick excuse me I just knocked all my people over sorry about that Poe why don't you come back down here um, I just realized something Yeah, all right, there I am. And now I need to mute you too. Do, 
Yeah, all right, fair enough. Just nobody watching tonight, and that's okay. What's up, Crispy? How's it going, man? Hope you can hang out and chat for a little bit. I realize I think you guys had a show tonight, so, or maybe that's tomorrow. Tune it in from Camp Comfort. Uh oh, this is gonna be a problem later. I don't like these. These are better than stud shooters. I hate stud shooters, but I guess those will, you can kind of hide those a little better. Kind of streamline them into the, into the bulkheads and stuff like that. Not too shabby. If you're just joining us, which it doesn't look like there's anybody in there, uh, we're building the Black Ace from Star Wars Resistance. And if we get done in enough time, I'll build a microfighter. Live, and then I'll put up the time loop of it, or the time lapse of it later. Looks like we're starting on the wings. Ooh, this is never a good thing. So this is going to be reinforced like immediately. You can see that. Just blurp. That's going to. I always like seeing that. And then they go, yep, we got to tie that up like right away. How's it going, Beth? You enjoying watching your your movie? It, it's, yeah, it's like almost three hours. Your bladder doesn't forget how long it is. Yep. Hey, Justin. How's life, man? Are you joining us from Colorado? Or are you back? There's another one, man. It's barely hanging on there. This is almost like how I would build. I just leave that one hanging out there. All right. Um. I can already tell this is going to be a good song. I'm going to flip over real quick and find out who's playing this. Chips all. All right, I dig it. Oh, they missed an opportunity right there to drop that beat. Uh, okay. Again, I'm gonna put that out there. That's what we're drinking. I think I could probably only put it out there for like 30 seconds before you gotta move it because it's advertising. So let's do that. I don't know, Josh would be able to tell me if he was here. Man, I was looking for these the other day. I needed them for something and I didn't have them. Hey Beth, huh? no one's watching. Aww. I think uh, they're, they're only here for you. I think you're the... You're the channel now. I don't think that's true. I think it is. So for those of you who aren't aware of how long Beth and I have been together, it will be five years tomorrow. Woo! We went on our first date five years ago. First date, right? Yep. We went to uh, Kick Butt Coffee and I drank all the coffee in the world. Yeah, we talked for a very long time. And then I had already had like two cups of coffee that day. And I had two more when we were there and big cups of coffee too. So that was a good sign um, that I wanted to like stay there and chat. Yeah, didn't go cook for kids. yeah and so I was like, well, I gotta go because I've gotta cook for my kids. And she's like, well, that's an excuse. And then I had to explain my situation. 
And she's like, oh my God. Well, that's a unique situation. So anyway, did it? That's true. Social workers are attracted to the, the hard luck cases. Oh man, that's nice. Uh oh, I missed. I hate when I miss. Little bits. Oh, that wasn't even a little bit. That was a long time ago. Alright. Hey, would you mind checking YouTube and see if I'm on? Yeah, I just, sometimes I, I, I don't, you know what, I don't care. Nobody's watching, it's, it's cool. Well, are you on Facebook or YouTube? Oh, interesting. Okay, cheers. <clears throat> all right, so that, all right. A lot of shiny grills in this. Look at those shiny, I don't know if you can see them reflect light. I mean, they're, it's new Lego, they're all gonna reflect the light, so. Okay. You can start to see the mask thing starting to take shape a little bit. Well, this song started out good, but I think I'm over it. Oh, this is a different artist. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with some uh, dubstep, but not all dubstep. Actually shocked that Ingrid's not on tonight. She's usually here. I have a feeling I'm interrupting somebody else's stream because I get like, I'm guessing at about nine o'clock, nine fifteen. Like I get a rush of people coming in. But I'm wondering if somebody else goes on at eight. I keep saying I don't care, but I'm kind of like, meh, nobody's watching. But that's cool. Live streams are hard to watch if you're not participating. These are so pretty. These cut triangle tiles. I just larve them. Happy International Cat Day, by the way. Um, I do uh, my whiteboard at work. I decorate every day with whatever uh, national or international day I happen to find on those weird um, holiday sites. And today was International Cat Day, so I did the lady yelling at the cat meme. It was me yelling at one of the servers and the server not responding because it's going wide. I am cat. I am the cat. I am le tired.
This is very cool. I kind of like the use of the roller skates as greebling. That's very slick. Flip it over again. Flipping it over. Can do that. Can do this. Flip it over again. And we've got. Here's one of these stickers in which I don't mind putting these on because I believe it is, I would have, I mean, it's a tile, print, print, print a tile. You know, I mean, come on. That's weird. Oh. And it looks like it's telling me to crank, bend it slightly. I don't know how much, how slightly I need to bend it. I think just that much. That looks good. Wing. And you can kind of see the, the shape of the stormtrooper mask starting to take form. All right. Bag three, after we attach this to here. And I'm sure it's supposed to angle down at some point. So let us shift full. So this is what we got so far. Very shiny. I think the camera smudged a bit because you get a little lens flare from the shiny. Look at that, ah. But you can see how it's like, the eye of the stormtrooper and then the kind of the, the breathing mask. Which way is it going? That way. Kind of thing. So, anyway, that's that so far. I think that's about as all the slope. Yeah. Oh, hence these guys down in there. Okay. Keeping it from bending too far down. Nice. All right. So, we'll put that aside. And these are the extra pieces from that bag a roller skate and a one by one round with flat edges. Okay, so this bag, last bag, and you know what? All right, good taste on that. This one's been sitting out a little bit, so we'll see. Well, I like the Shiner better. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? Um, yeah, I like the Shiner better, but this one does have a very unique taste. It's a little little sharper. Uh, it's not as creamy. It does taste like fall. We'll see how long that goes before I get tired of it. So this is basically the, the last wing and um, grip. So this will be slightly repetitive because I'm basically doing the same thing I just did for the last 10 minutes. But reverse, reverse, reverse. Uh-oh, no, that's gonna bother me later if I can't find it. Yeah, so if you haven't heard the soundtrack or even seen the movie for the 1986 um, Transformers movie, first of all, it's a fantastic movie. Um, it is of an age. It, I mean, I'm not gonna say it doesn't hold up well, but it is of an age. And um, I just think it's, story-wise, it's so much better than the Michael Bay Transformers. And I only say that really because it's it's pure Transformers. It's not, well, let's cram a lot of humans into it and see what's going on with all these humans. You know, it wasn't, 
It's never about the humans, it's about these robots. And I don't like that the new live action has kind of been like, well, let's make it about us, which I get it. They're on Earth. Make it about us. All right. So that's Griff without his helmet on. Does that change the focus at all? What do I have on my hand? Ugh. Nope. Doesn't change anything. There's no focusing for that. Okay got hair he's an old man but he also has put his hair up there he also has his tie fighter helmet ta-da tie fighter helmet with a skull on it it's like a black it's like a black tie fighter helmet with a white stormtrooper helmet painted on the face really weird also <coughs> as far as I know none of these guys had a gun in the show I don't remember see, seeing them with guns. They, like, the First Order showed up and they jumped in their ships and took off. So, I don't know, man. What are you gonna do? What are we gonna do, brother? Ride it out, brother. I love you, brother. I fucking kill you, man. No, it's all right, I love you, brother. That was an impression of Rick from Big Mouth, and that's gonna get me demonetized. If I were ever monetized to begin with. It's a whole lot of swearing. So, um, as we wrap this build up. Hmm. Thinking about what to do with the next build. So the next one's gonna be the um, Von Reg TIE Fighter, or I'll let people pick. Leave a comment about which one you'd rather see. Von Reg's TIE Fighter or the ATAP. And again, both of these I'm getting because I just need the figures for them. And I got a pretty sweet deal on A Fall Day, so I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, the whole set. Because I like Star Wars sets, they're fun. Flip for the love. The blue one. Hey, Josh, you're back. The blue one. I don't know what that means. The blue one. Oh. I don't have a blue one. I have a red one and a gray one. through this real quick make the blue AT, at oh man I wish I had a blue at at that would be fantastic you mean the ATAP oh spray paint so the um, I did do a variant on the micro fighter version because when I was designing it it looked like there were two versions of the ATAP from Lego um, but it was just really like a re-release and um, now there's three so I've got the most recent one but there's this so this is the third of however many they redid three but when I was researching the actual like in-universe ship it looked like there was at least several um, variants and the one that Lego did technically is like only on Kashyyyk um, so you can get another one. Actually, I think it's the ATDP that was the bigger variant because you see an ATDP in Solo when they're on the muddy planet, whatever, and, and they you see those Gozanti cruisers come or the AT haulers come over. 
and they drop a walker. That's an ATDP, I think. I'll have to double check. But it's like, it's just this, these legs and a big wall and like one giant gun coming out of it. Not like this giant gun. It's, it's more of a, like a defense turret, um, which is weird that they picked that one to be like a forward line, whatever. It would have made more sense to have these guys, but I don't think they, it may have been that they aren't, weren't in universe released yet. Like they hadn't been built or designed. I don't know. Some of these things stick around for a long time. Some of them get used for different stories and whatever, and it's hard to keep track of sometimes. And I don't have uh, weapons of uh, weapons and war and whatever else the books are, the source materials. So sometimes I just kind of go with what I know. But I think the ATDPs do at least have two variants, and I think maybe three. I think there's a third one. Um, What is that noise? Oh, she's got her headphones on, she don't care. Um, yeah, so anyway, so there's a green one that you see on Kashyyyk, and then there's a, just a gray one that I think is kind of like the line version, like the off the line version. And then I thought there was a red one, like a shock trooper version as well when I was researching it. So I'll have to go back, but the micro fighter design I did, I just kind of threw in, hey, this is a gray one and the green one. And I decided to do the green one because you could get the Commander Gree figure off the ATAP model, the set, actual set. And um, so I was like, yeah, I'll get that set and get my figure. Um, I think I already bought the figure, so I might have two of them. Uh, so we'll see. I think that's all I need off that. Oh, this might be, might be timed perfectly. I think I'm gonna get this done just in time. Mm, mm, bow, 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 bow. What the wiki. It's always good to hear new music. I like these channels because it's new music, kind of. Uh, I think this bumped up. Did I miss somebody? Nope. All right. Did I miss that on that side? No, I didn't, okay. Yeah, so even though this is basically a mirror of the other side, they do it in different order, just because this is how it's facing you now. So the directions are like this. That, that, that. Okay, done. Flip it over. A little bit of Mario sounds in the background there. Wow. Also, I realized after I get done doing this, I have to remote into my day job and do some work because there's work that I, ha I can't do during the day. I have to wait till everybody's off this stupid terminal server in order to be able to do the work. So I'm gonna do that when I'm done, which means I can't just play and go play Battlefront or something. But such is the life of a salaried IT professional. Sometimes you gotta work from home. I work from home now so I can enjoy the opportunity to work from home later. That's kinda how it works. So I don't mind doing it now because I know at some point I'll need to just take a sick day, call into work. But sometimes you can say, I'd like to work from home and then you know, you just kind of monitor email, make sure nothing goes wrong. Sometimes too, uh, you can catch up on projects because when you're at home, you don't have a whole lot of people bothering you. So you can catch up on some stuff. So it's, it's nice sometimes. And more and more, there's no reason to be in the office. There used to be physical servers, but now even 
the servers that are there are virtual servers, so it doesn't matter if I'm there, I don't ever touch, don't ever, I rarely touch a physical machine. Everything's done remote, uh, via some sort of remote uh, protocol. So being on site doesn't mean anything. If they go down and I can't get them from my house, I won't be able to get them from the office either. And no amount of being there will fix it. Row row. Oh, there it is. Minifigure hype. What's up? What's the hops? Thanks for hosting us, man. Appreciate it. Oh, so you're new. You're not new, but you're here now. They've The Oktoberfests are out. I don't know if you were aware of that or if that's new. Um, so I grabbed this and I grabbed the uh, real ale Oktoberfest and um, Oh, off the bat, I'd have to say that I like the Shiner one better. But the real ale one is uh, growing on me. It's not terrible, which is not a ringing endorsement, but I just like the flavor of the Shiner one better. I don't, and I, I can't really explain it. The real ale one seems a bit sharper. Um, so there you go. Um, so thanks for the host and thanks for coming by. Um, you missed it earlier. I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do this build tonight and then, yeah, I, I saw that the 903 was out too. Or I, I saw that it is out. I didn't see it at HEB, but um, I wanna try that one too. Yeah, I was actually saying that earlier. I, I think I like Oktoberfest beers because it means that October will be here soon, which means uh, Scary Month will be here because then it'll be Scary Month and then, uh-oh, did I put this on the wrong way? It'll be Scary Month and then like somebody said, um, and then it'll be Mashed Potato Month. Yeah, that was wrong. And then it'll be Christmas month, which I thought was pretty funny. But we gotta get through scary month first. Do, 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 do. Is that right? Yep, I effed it up. I think that's right. Yep. They come out in July. Yeah, I don't understand why they have feel like they have to release them so fast. Because I mean, these are cold weather beers. You know, they're not. They're not. You can drink them warm. That's the whole idea. Um, they taste fine, cold or warm. And right now, you know, it's really hot out. Um, but they they have a bit more heft and thickness, and a little bit of spice to them in most cases. So the idea that they come out in July, you're right, it's just kind of like, oh, all right, whatever, yo's. All right, breaking a rule, doing a sticker. So I watched the, uh, great, um, uh, the, uh, the great lasagna feast of 2019 the other day. That was fairly impressive. Would love to know what the fallout was like in the house later. I couldn't watch for very long. It looked terrifying. Sell them quickly, get them out, so they need to go to Christmas beers, which tend to sell better. Yeah, and I don't know why Christmas beers sell better. I've always liked Oktoberfest beers better. They just taste better. And um, 
Christmas beers are always like hit and miss for me. But you know, I'm, I guess I'm not the target demographic. All right, so here's what we got. We so far got a little bit left here. Burp, burp. I guess the actual edited version is now on YouTube. Uh, edited version of oh yeah okay yeah of the lasagna thing. Beer was fine-ish. She was not. Oh, bear was fine. She was not so much. That looked horrifying. Like I came in on kind of a tail end of it, um, and she was like, "I have to go to the bathroom," and like she had just eaten something with Dijon mustard on it. Oh God, I could not imagine going through that. I mean, it, props for them if they got through it and got you know the subs they needed and the the um, a bit of um, a bit of the yield cash. What's the word I'm looking for? People chipping in and donating and stuff. I think that's great, but I don't know that I'd want to do that. That looks terrifying. And I, you know, and this coming from a guy who eats hot sauces for fun. That's what they should do. Oh man, they should do a hot ones thing. I bet people would watch the fuck out of that. She wouldn't do it though. I don't think Justin would do it either. I don't think Bear would do it either, but you know, whatever. Yeah, this is a pretty cool ship. I like it. I mean, it's very simple. You know, it looks like a stormtrooper helmet, right? Um, this is the guy. This is the pilot. It's from that cartoon Resistance, Star Wars Resistance, the one that was on Disney Channel. That's just not a great show. It's it's. It could be so much better, but it's not. It's. It like breaks its own in-universe rules a lot, and it's, you know, when they say um, it's made for kids, and then they just make it as insane as and dumb as possible, it just bothers me. It feels like they're insulting kids when they do that. Melissa would never do hot sauces. She can't even do guac with jalapenos in it. Fair enough. Which would make it even funnier, but you know, I don't want to hurt anybody. Um, yeah, it really was the worst. I thought Rebels was the worst for a while, but Rebels got kind of good toward the end. I really enjoyed it. They brought Ahsoka back and there's the whole like alternate universe or whatever time portal thing that they had to go through. That was pretty cool. And the end with Ezra and Thrawn, that was pretty cool. Which makes me sad because I kind of wanted Thrawn to be more of a character in, um, um, what am I thinking of? The new movie. I thought maybe he would show up in that, but I guess not now that he's kind of MIA, but whatever. Uh, okay, just like that. Fair enough. Yeah, Rebels was really good. It started really slow, and I got kind of tired of Ezra a little bit, but um, but he's worlds above Kaz. That's all. I'm, that's all I care about. Kaz is kind of a doofus, and I don't like. I don't like the whole Forrest Gump character wins the day kind of thing. I should probably get a better camera angle of this because it's getting bigger. So here's the side. Here's what I kind of don't like, and here's what the reviews have been kind of this sort of angled plating right on the side here. Um, it doesn't connect to anything, right? It's supposed to, like in the actual model, like these bits connect down here, but this is just kind of getting, giving an indication that it does. And it doesn't even like fully attach. It just kind of sits there, you know, all well and good. And it's supposed to give the, in let me see if there's a better angle, right? It's supposed to give like this little indication that it's like kind of paneled right there, but let me knock this rest out and then I can show you on the big, on the big camera that's a little better focus. But yeah, you can see it's not a bad ship. It's kind of cool looking, very daggery. Um, so are you excited for Mandalorian? I am. 
I am ordering Disney Plus basically for that. Um, it's just, uh, it's a bonus that I also get um, a last season of Clone Wars and then all the, you know, all the Marvel shows that are going to come out on it. Like Bucky and Sam fighting crime and whatever else is going to be on it. Um, so that'll be fun. But yeah, mostly The Mandalorian. I am excited for that. Some weird choices for parts, extra parts but I'm cool with it. And I don't know, that seems kind of lazy. The clips in the middle just to keep them from closing. I don't know. All right. And then we gotta put the laser bolts, laser bolts in the sides here, the flick bolts. Spring loaded. Don't you try out, kid. Yeah, so that's the other thing is I'm like super excited to have like all the unvaulted Disney movies. I think that's gonna be amazing. And of course my, uh, my kids, so here's the extra bits for that bag. Um, the only thing really of worth is gonna be that roller skate, but whatever. Um, my kids, Ron and Greg were, not really um, huge Disney fans, despite like growing up with me constantly playing them, like Hercules and, do you remember the movie Dinosaur? That was an amazing movie, I love that movie. So this is it. Um, this is the Black Ace, and I'm gonna put the pilot in it, so. This is the other thing. I think this is a little weird because you kind of have to open it up like that. And then uh, I don't know where his gun goes. Does it say? Sometimes it says, uh... oh, what? You can put another. Oh, well, all right. It says you can put this other blaster bolt back here. Wow, that's cool. So you can store it. That's pretty hip. It doesn't say where you can put his gun though. Oh, it does. Where does it say it can go? I'm gonna take my glasses off and look really closely. It says you can put his gun in the back. He, 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 he. In this little stud, that's not really uh, all right, that's not bad, I guess. Okay, so yeah, you can store everything, which is good, except for his hair, I guess. It just bothers me that he's got, they do that a lot. Uh, the Inferno set had that too, where uh, Aiden Versio had hair and a helmet, or just hair, actually. You had to get in a whole other battle pack to get a helmet, which I thought was really ridiculous. No, 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 what's going on? Go away. Uh, all right, so uh, Black Ace, one of like five aces on Star Wars Resistance. Um, it is I, this is one of the cooler ones. I really like it. I really like the dagger shape. Um, it's got like a tie body, and sort of um, it looks like probably elongated tie interceptor wings that were maybe you know pushed forward a little bit and then uglied on the side of it. Hence the like the bracketing right here and the struts. The supports are probably there because. It was probably shaped like this, and then it, you know, you take off their wings and rotate it and just kind of attach them like that. So that's a very cool looking ship. Um, I think the character on the show is a little bit kind of burp, burp. Um, I do have a micro fighter. Hi, Brick Ninja. Uh, you didn't miss it totally, but I'm only gonna be on for like another five minutes, but I'll show you what I've got. So 
I'll link to Rebrickable. I'll throw a Rebrickable thing in there because I do have, um, I wonder if I did instructions for it yet. Um, I do have um, a version of this in a microfighter form. Um, and let's see if this will just remember me. It won't, okay. Is that the right password? Nope, okay. These guys are in my way. Um, okay. Sometimes I use the same ones over and over again. Okay, now I'm logged in. So, oh, you know what? I should be doing it over here. So I'm gonna do uh, share. All right, so let's go over here. Close, Lego, nope, not Bricklink. So, and then I'll put the chat back over here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, and my, this is my girlfriend's Mac and she constantly clears cookies. So I'm constantly having to re-log into everything. Um, my Lego, uh, where is it? Marks. There we go. So this is my rebrickable site, and I've got all these sets up here with instructions. Uh, feel free. The link is in the description. Um, I do have a pr one premium set. That's the RQ4. It's like five bucks or something to get the instructions. It's totally worth it. I don't know if I've got the Black Ace up here or not. I know we designed it on the channel, but I don't know that I did the instructions for it. Um, just yet. Doesn't look like it. So, um, oh, I'm even going to try to do that. Let's do this. Yeah, Rebrickable is an actual, is actually like a really fantastic site. It started off as more of a, I've got this set, now what do I do with it? Um, I want to be able to, um, take it apart and do a different kind of build with it. So it starts off with a lot of people saying, hey, if you've got this set, here's something else you can build with it. Just giving you ideas, right? Um, and But it also has turned out to be a lot of people are doing their own mocks and uploading the instructions for them because they've um, made it kind of easy to put up um, the stud IO generated instructions as well as parts lists and um, stuff like that. So these are going to be in alphabetical order, so hopefully it's up near the top. Now I've done, I, I don't know how many microfighters I've done. I've done like 200. Oh, so I don't know where Josh is. So here's my, uh, here's the alternate. So there's the gray one and that's the green one. I almost have all the parts for the green one. I think I need a couple other things, but that's the ATAP micro. Um, and then, yeah, so here it is. So yeah, I've got one designed. I just, I needed the figure and I need to do the instructions for it. So that's the microfighter version of this ship, right? So I tried to keep it, I tried to keep the, um, the basics of the ship, like the way the wings bend and the cockpit and then the way it's got the, uh, the stormtrooper mask here. So that's that. So I'll get the parts for this now that I have Griff Halloran figure. Um, I can do that. Um, where did he go? Oh, he's in the cockpit. Yeah, and I got Sebulba. Did I put him away already? Where did I put Sebulba? I got the Sebulba, the bendable figure Sebulba, right? Um, because I want to do his pod racer next. And I've got an Anakin, so I just, and I just, it's one of these where I need to sort the parts out. So there's, you know, there's a Sebulba with the bendable figures and hopefully I designed it right so he can sit in two studs and then hold on to the front. I think I got it right. Because there's the um, the molded figure and then this guy. And I never had this guy before. I had the molded figure because that's what came out first with the, like the 1999 sets. It was just this like melted blob of, no, oh, that's Sebulba. It's like, no, it's not. It looks like a piece of chewed bubble gum. So anyway. All right, so I'm not gonna have time to work on uh, the 
Mandator class microfighter, but I will record myself building it and then I'll do a speed build. Um, yeah, let me flip back over and you can see. Um, so I'll record doing the speed build of it and then um, the instructions for it, I believe, are on the site. Uh, Sebulba. It's going to be in the S's. It may actually be on Rebrickable. It is on. Oh, okay. Here we go. So yeah. So this is what I'm building next. It's the Mandator class Star Dreadnought. It's the first order ship. Um, so that's the top of it. It's the thing they blow up at the beginning of um, Last Jedi. And this is underneath it. You can see the planetary bombardment pl uh, combined plasma cannons or whatever they're called. Um, so I'll do this one and I'll just do a speed build of it and put it up. It'll be like a two or three minute video or whatever. Um, so we'll do that next. Um, yeah, so that's it for tonight. Um, thanks to everybody who came in early and late. Um, I will hopefully be back on Sunday night. Uh, we might have, I don't, I don't know if, what I'll be building. I might be building Von Reg's TIE Fighter next or we might get Beth over here to do some building do another friend set and I'll watch another Canadian teen drama and we'll talk about that. So uh, cheers. I'm going to do some work. I have to do some work from home tonight. So I'm going to jump over on that now. Uh, but I appreciate everybody coming by and good talking to you and make sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye.